Good morning and welcome. It's Jilly Cube from the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. Coming to you with, um, well, it's kind of a little art lab day. It's, um, well, it's what many of you have been waiting for and myself when I came up with something that I believed, you know, was making these really super, super cool cells. And I wanted to share with you, but only when I got it consistent. Well, I'm trying to um, share with you today the actual recipe that I was doing to get this particular um, cell creation. And I will share this, um, definitely will be sharing this with you, how I make up the... Um, paints to get the uh, super cells that I've been getting. It's no big huge secret the ingredients are used by us all every you know if you are acrylic pour and most times it was just seemed to be the ratios that I put them together at that seemed to work better than um, other times but what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to show you um, the a method that may be good uh, to use in Australia uh, because they're freely available with one of the ingredients being the Elmer's glue oil and the second ingredient to go with it is the Australian flow trial and I'm going to do the same test with the American glue oil that you get in the US and I think you can get glue oil in Europe um, my both both mixtures the glues are made at 70% glue and 30% water like so I took this like the glue out of the bottle down to about the 70% mark down here then I added warm water give it a good shake and it's been sitting there and the same I do with the it's only the Montmartre clear PVA that I get to work other clear glues even the uh, Elmer's clear glue it does not work the same only this this one I haven't tried this recipe exactly with the Elmer's glue oil but I want to see if it's going to be achievable for uh, the US and UK people that may not be able to get the Montmartre so kind of bear with me because I'm sort of going all over the place I've put I'm going to do this side is the glue all side and this side is the Montmartre side they're the same colors except I'm just going to add white just plain old white in those which I've forgotten to do but oh where actually where am I that's pre-made I don't want pre-made I want to start it from fresh so I've just I've got what colors do I have here okay I had the magenta in here and then I added phalo blue just in this one I wanted it to go real dark purple color because I think that might like highlight the cells when I come to show you what the cells look like this one is uh, carmine that's carmine that's just the paint at the moment and this one is brilliant red now I've only used it the Montmartre so um, and you can get this so I'll kind of equally put that looks like there's more there but because I've got the glue up the side can't tell can you yeah I've tried to put equal amounts of the the um, glue in each cup so it's had no pouring medium in yet so so I've tried to put equal amounts in and I'm going to okay I just might put um, put this white into ah that's it those cups because I, I want to do the exact same color for both testing testing on the glue all and testing on the um, Montmartre now I don't wait ah, I'm going off I don't weigh my paints I just don't I eyeball everything so I just don't weigh but um, so I've just put 
equal amounts in the cup hopefully <laughs> hopefully I might have put too much painting to what pouring medium I want to put it so okay this is what I've been doing <sighs> here we go here we go so to get my cell I'll start with my side where I'm putting the Montmartre clear glue so this is pre-mixed I always pre-mix I've got a load of bottles all pre-mixed so I, so that kind of mixing day is a whole different day when I'm mixing my PVA so I'm going to just add the PVA maybe if you can see is is leaving about a good um, two and a half centi oh, each one's going to be different pouring the PVA in I'll show you the consistency so I'm doing this side with the Montmartre I'll show you the consistency because each paint colour does go to a different consistency this is just the white so I just want it to be fairly thick because I'm going to add the second ingredient to it so none of these paints I am not adding any silicone this is how I was getting these most fantastic cells without silicone so that was the really good thing about them I love you I don't mind using silicone at all at all at all so that's kind of the consistency that you want your paint to be at this stage which is quite thick it's leaving a big kind of trace so that's the consistency for the first stage um, I don't want to go through every one I'll just do these two colors with you so you can see so it's quite thick it, I wouldn't pour with that because it'd be just too thick so the next one I'll just add I've got to stir them all up but I won't bore you on camera so the next one on the line I'm going to do with the glue all so I just pour my glue all in Whoop, don't, don't overdo it Whoop, there you go so glue all in Australia that that Elmer's glue all uh, is very hard to get here I have to ship it in from America and as you would understand very very expensive especially since covid and it would take weeks and weeks to come it's just that i've had that particular elmer's glue all oh for maybe eight months now because i changed over using this mostly but um i haven't ordered it in from the u.s since covid started because i know it would just be astronomical so this white look is very thick but this is the first stage so that's my first stage for the part of the recipe that I need to tell you about so that is the first stage so this is all that it is it's the same ingredients that I've used many many times but it just seems to be the consistency that makes the cells sort of a lot different than I normally get so this is just mixed as I showed you I'll just mix them all up so I didn't have the boring bits um, of just mix stirring stirring Stephen so the second part is of course the flow trial but I've done this mix ever since I started pouring and particularly when I first started pouring I was using glue the actually woodmakers glue from Bunnings and um, flow trial and that always worked really well I went back to some of the video my very first videos and I thought gosh those cells how did I sort of the cells have been good but not as good and then I come back to my roots basically I started making my pouring medium how I used to make it except I'm now using this uh, clear glue which works brilliantly anyway then the second part that I found if I did it to these ratios now I've tried it with the Montmartre and it works brilliant haven't tried it with the glue all so that is 
a test. So I'm putting, I'm just topping up now with, with um, maybe, what would you say? Maybe I should give it a measuring cup. So um, where's my measuring cups? Everybody pinches everything from me. Oh, kids, who'd have them? Can't live with them, can't kill them. Okay, I can't find my... I can't find my measuring cups, that's unbelievable. There you go, I've got a brand new one sitting. I've got a brand new measuring cup here. All my equipment that I'm using here is from Capriol Shabby Chic and the link is in the drop down box. That's who I get my stuff from. So I'm just trying to show you. So that's still a thicker consistency. Let's see how many it seems to go by doing it a certain consistency. So that's two tablespoons, tablespoons is this. So I just will put in one tablespoon. Take it down, one tablespoon. Little wee more, I'd already, and then one tablespoon. So, might need a little bit more with the glue all. The glue all seems to make the paint go thicker. That's probably a really good consistency for a uh, swipe, which I want to do to show you how the cells come up. Yeah, that's okay. That's fine. So remember, give it a good stir, making sure you're getting the paint from the very bottom. So it's, it's kind of the consistency where you see a little trace, but not too much. Okay, so the same, I'm going to do the same in each cup. So I'm going to put one tablespoon, which this little measuring jug does one tablespoon in each. That's one tablespoon, one tablespoon. Like I say, it doesn't matter what paint, um, different, I mean, it can be the same brand paint like I'm using all Montmartre, but every single colour will need different consistencies. It just, just works that way. So I don't know if you're using different paints, whether this particular recipe will work for you, but I'm just doing it for these particular paints and recipe this particular recipe so I know it's a bit long-winded isn't it but it's okay just them last two now and then we'll be done so it just seemed definitely did seem I mean I've done this mix a million times putting flow troll with the glues I have but I've just, you know, oh, a bit of this and a bit of that and we'll be right, mate. And I do get good cells, but it seemed when I get the consistency down pat for each particular paint colour, just it just sort of did some magic, I suppose. Magic, magic. So I'm just going to whisk them up and then I'm going to go get my canvas ready and uh, do the test. Hope that was helpful to you all. Um, that's my particular way that I've been creating these cells over the last few weeks. So if I can um, help you create wonderful cells without silicon, you know it's a good thing. I will put a link below in the description, in the first comments of the particular piece of a uh, particular video that created this art that you're seeing now with the red all the different shades of red so yeah hop on over for the and click on the link below in the comments please subscribe to my channel it really helps me and um, I put out good videos for us every single day and it's free so thank you guys thanks for your support